Hi friends. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, I would like to share, how to fix unarc.dll returned an error code. Before we proceed further, let's check following details in your computer. Did you check the system requirements of the application? Did you make any recent hardware slash software changes into your computer? Is this application 32-bit or 64-bit? Did you try restarting the PC and check? Are you using any third-party antivirus program? When do you get these error messages? This problem may create due to the following reasons. As an initial troubleshooting step, we would like to check if the issue is with computer, and for that you may try to installing the same application in a different computer, or try to move the application setup file to an external USB and check if it works fine on other computer. If the issue persists, then the issue may be with the application setup file. If you are still getting the error, I would suggest you to follow the following methods. Press Windows plus X key on the keyboard. Go to Control Panel. Select, System and Security in the Control Panel. Open the Administrative Tool. Now click on Windows Memory Diagnostic. Here you can see the option to check the memory errors. Now click on Restart Now and check for Problem option, before that saved any unsaved work running your PC. Once you select to restart, the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool starts checking and restarts automatically displaying the result. Go to search and type msconfig. Click on system configuration. Select service tab. Click to select the hide all Microsoft services checkbox. Now click disable all. Open startup tab. Click, Open Task Manager. On the Startup tab in Task Manager, for each startup item, select the item and then click Disable. Close Task Manager. On the Startup tab of the System Configuration dialog box, tap or click OK, and then restart the computer. In order to delete temporary files and folders from computer, use Disk Cleanup. Go to search and type, Disk Cleanup. And click on Disk Cleanup at the top. 
Inside this dialog box select a drive in which temporary files and folders are located. And then press, OK. Now scroll down. and put a check mark on temporary windows installation files option now click on ok for permanent deletion click on detaily files button now open drive and check here one file is still not deleted in order to delete the remaining file type command prompt in the search box Right click on command prompt. Select run as administrator. Inside command prompt type. Take own slash fc backslash dollar windows ws backslash asterisk slash r slash a and hit enter. Again type. ICACLSC backslash dollar windows WS backslash slash T slash grant administrators F and press enter. Again type RMDIR slash S slash QC colon backslash dollar sign WINDOWS dot tilde WS backslash and press enter. Now the remaining file has been deleted successfully. Right click on setup file. Click on properties. Now click on Compatibility tab. Put a check mark on Run this program in Compatibility Mode 4. Select Windows 7. Put a check mark on Run this program as an administrator under Privilege level. Now click on Apply button. And click on OK. In order to fix the corrupted operating system files, run the deployment image servicing and management tool. Type command prompt in the search bar. Right click on command prompt. Select run as administrator. Now type the following commands inside command prompt. Press, Enter. In order to check if it fixes the issue, restart computer. In order to run check disk follow these steps, press Windows key plus X and select command prompt, admin. Type the following command in order to check errors. Type chkdsk space slash f space slash r. Press enter. Check disk cannot be used to examine the system's boot drive if the computer is in use. The system will ask you if you'd like to run the command when next time computer will restart. Write Y and press enter. Remember, 
data available on bad sectors might be lost when CHKDSK tries to repair your hard disk. Once process has been finished, restart the computer. Searching for defrag or optimize in the taskbar. Now click on defragment and optimize drives. Select a drive. Now click analyze button to see if it needs to be optimized. Check the percentage of fragmented files in the results. If the drive is more than 10% fragmented, then it should be optimized. If you want to defragment your drive, click Optimize button. Remember, optimizing a drive might take anywhere from several minutes to a few hours to finish, depending on the size of the drive and degree of optimization needed. If you have installed any third-party security application, I would suggest you to disable and then try to install the software. Use the System File Checker tool to repair missing or corrupted system files. Please refer my previous video. In order to fix this issue, Take a good copy of unarc.dll file from another computer. Copy the new unarc.dll file. Now open this PC. Open C drive. Inside C drive, open Windows folder. Now open System32 folder. Locate the current unarc DLL file on your system. Rename the current unarc DLL file to unarc backup.dll. In case if your Windows is 64-bit version and also the DLL file which you had copied is 64-bit. Then you can paste DLL file in this folder only. Similarly open syswow64 folder. In case if your Windows is 64-bit version and the DLL file which you had copied is 32-bit. Then you can paste DLL file in this folder only. Type command prompt in the search bar. Right click on command prompt. Select run as administrator. If you want to use a 64-bit DLL file on a 64-bit version of Windows then in this case. At the command prompt, type the following command. 
Reg SVR 32% system root percent backslash system 32 backslash on arc DLL. Press enter key. If you want to use a 32-bit DLL file on a 64-bit version of Windows then in this case. At the command prompt, type the following command. Reg SVR 32% system root percent backslash syswo 64 backslash on arc DLL. Press enter key. In order to check if it fixes the issue, restart computer. Please subscribe, share, and like this channel.